but there's one more thing you need to keep in mind as you begin to believe in this that Jesus' sacrifice is enough you got to be careful of two more people one person is you you is because you are sometimes your own worst critic it's when you begin to guilt trip yourself when you begin to punish yourself it's when you like Judas who didn't do something really bad to Jesus feel like I can never come back to Jesus I've disappointed him so much and it will be better if I hang myself and some people hang themselves emotionally some people hang themselves mentally some people hang themselves spiritually they may never do that physically God forbid but they will hang themselves in every area of their life because they feel like this is the way they can please God by showing to him when I am in pain you must be happy God said in Hebrews 11 6 once for all you want to make me happy trust me and sometimes that's harder than hurting yourself trust me don't hurt yourself I already did that there is no need to do that just trust me and everything is going to be enough God made it made it very seen there's no need to beat yourself why did Jesus die on the cross for that you have to receive that you cannot be your own worst critic if God forgave you why do you think you're better than God not to forgive yourself if God who is holy the Bible says in Job finds faults in angels standard is so high and he forgave you all of it do you think you're better than God your standards higher than God's that you cannot forgive yourself somehow you're bigger when you tell yourself I can never forgive myself for this I will never how could how could I how could I and when you go into that route what you're telling God is the reason why God you forgave me ah you have low standards I on the other hand have high standards don't be God if God gave it to you give it to yourself just receive it and say you know what if God is so holy could forgive such a wretched person like me I'm sure I'm not so holy I could forgive myself as well can somebody say amen can somebody put your hands together for this awesome Jesus but there is one more thing but there is one more thing not only God is on your side not only you have to because of Jesus now be your own advocate it means you're not against you you are for you I know this may sound weird for some of you but it's better that you get up in the mirror every day and you say you know what you handsome thing you're the best thing that I've ever seen in my life and I had the best time with you last night and I'm gonna live with you till the rest of my life and honestly I just like you you're successful you're handsome you're powerful you're just gonna make the best person you're gonna make a difference it's better that you do that instead of getting up in the mirror and say you fat ugly little thing worthless you're nobody you'll never amount and look at your eyes look at your nose look at your cheeks look at it you don't have a lamb inside you got a goat inside you got a demon inside you gotta get the demon out when you realize Jesus died for your sin the first thing that comes is God is on your side it gives you so much pressure it removes so, removes so much pressure but you know another thing that gives you it helps you not to be your enemy you already got demons against you why do you need to be against yourself you already have an enemy to fight don't make it difficult for yourself can somebody say amen but there's one more person that I'm gonna end on is when you receive Jesus as your lamb you have to be care be careful of people who have a memory of your past but don't have an understanding of your lamb because they will constantly bring you back to what you did and they will remind you what you did who you did it with they will question constantly the genuineness of the changed life you're living right now some will actually stand on the side and tell you this we'll see how long this will last and that is the devil speaking to you in the human English voice you may say oh that's not possible ask Jesus when his own apostle Peter said Jesus don't go to the cross and Jesus looked around he said you devil get behind me if you only 
do not learn to discern when the enemy is trying to pull you down you're walking free from drugs you're walking free from party you made some mistakes but you know Jesus has forgiven you and you're trying to make the good life and somebody comes along and says oh girl I remember when we did it you know I, I know this whole religion thing it will wear off in a few months call me after it does guess what you do under your breath get behind me Satan in the name of Jesus Satan in the name that Satan carrying the voice of Jose out in Jesus name <laughs> Shaniqua out in Jesus whatever it is whatever name and the voice it's using you got it under your breath you gotta say this is not from God this is from the devil can somebody say amen, amen. when apostle Paul was going through a shipwreck and he finally survived he gathered the sticks together and the Bible says that he he's trying to help everybody and a snake comes out and bites his hand and the moment it bit his hand the all the, the people around started to say he must be a murderer see he was supposed to die in the sea he survived and now the fate does not allow him to live on it found him here he's gonna die Paul could have said oh my god these people are prophetic how do they know I used to kill and persecute Christians oh my goodness I know God has forgiven me. I know I wrote a lot of the Bible but I think this is God trying to say hey Paul I've forgiven you but there are certain things you got to reap for what you sowed. You murdered Christians you're gonna have to also have to die like this. Paul didn't do that. You know what Paul did? The Bible says he shook it off and after he did all of those people had a change of mind. They said oh my goodness Paul is God. <laughs> That's exactly how people will do. They will always say you're worthless you slept around, you're a slut, you're a pervert, you're a womanizer, you're, you, you're just worthless, you'll never, anything, you just, anywhere you come, trouble comes and they will always label you like that and if you let that sink in, that viper will kill you. Shake that viper off. Sometimes you gotta delete those text messages, sometimes you gotta block that person and say, you know what, no, 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 I am redeemed, I am justified, I am forgiven and Jesus Christ is my redeemer. I may be a single mom but listen I am not a lone person. Jesus is on my side. I may have done this and that. I made mistakes and everybody in the city knows but so did Peter deny Jesus and a month later he was a pastor of apostolic church. People who say I cannot go to the church. Why? Well the leaders of the church used to do such a bad things. I feel bad for you because if you would be alive when Jesus started his church you wouldn't be able to go to Jesus' church because Pastor Peter denied Jesus just 50 days ago. Can somebody say amen? Be careful of people around you because they are sent by the devil to bring you down. Walk forward with God. Do not look behind let people say what they want to say remember haters gonna hate <laughs> can somebody say amen and walk in who Jesus says about you make a difference don't try to prove anybody wrong because most likely if Jesus after his resurrection did not take a trip to Pharisees house and say hey guys I gotta prove to you I am alive if Jesus couldn't prove Pharisees wrong what makes you think you will the best thing to do is to leave those people alone. Focus on reaching the lost. Focus on reaching your destiny and focus on living for Jesus Christ. Your past is behind you. Your future is in front of you and the most important Holy Ghost is on your side. Can somebody say